So I worked at Bragg since about 2020, almost three years, I'd say around 20,000. 20,000 tests. That's an amazing number. Do so, I need to have be in a certain job to take the DOPT? No, you can do anything. You could be anything to take a DOPT. Is it possible for me maybe to, to pass one? I mean, people do it all the time, honestly. We have people who do it for promotion points and they don't even know any languages. They just want to see what it's like. Mm -hmm. So, it's possible. The VLRs start very low at the VLR. Um, probably Spanish or French, because those are probably the easiest. What is, what's a VLR very the low DOPT? Range. So, help me out with that. So the VLR is a very low range. Um, so we have three different ranges. You have VLR, your normal range, and then your upper range. And then the VLR is very low. So that's the easiest. It scores from a zero to a one plus. The easiest ones would, like I said, be Spanish or French, but you could also, I think there's a Russian VLR as well. Definitely Spanish, French for sure as well. And then you have a lot of Arabic with the different dialects. And how about with Special Forces, what languages do you see most with those guys? French, Portuguese, for sure. Did you recommend individuals try to take Chinese or Arabic? Probably not. So those are one of those are the harder tests. So the tests are more reading and listening. Um, definitely make sure you can read in the language and real world stuff, honestly. Can you fail a language? You can't necessarily fail, you'll just get a zero. You just, <laughs> <laughs> it just shows that you're not proficient. Right. So you can't necessarily fail though. You can't. And how about a zero plus? Is a that zero true? plus isn't bad, it shows that you have some proficiency. <laughs> <laughs> this right here, what could you tell me with this? What, what, is, what does that form look like to you? Or so this is the 330, this is what you get, this is like your scoring memo. Um, so this person, oh, hey, this is you. You took German and you got a zero plus zero plus for listening and reading. So it's not bad though. But you can get as high as a three for this one. But it shows you're somewhat proficient. Mm -hmm. And can you go higher than that, than a three? No. So three is what maxes out? Three is what maxes out for your normal lower range uh, DLPTs. If you get a three on your lower range, then you can go to your upper range and show that you're more proficient than that. And if you want to do more proficient than that, and they don't have an upper range, you would take the OPI. And the OPI is what? Oral proficiency interview, and you talk on the phone. So either you know the language or you don't. Basically, yeah. You can't cheat. You cannot because you're <laughs> physically talking to somebody um, who knows that language, that's when they ask you more about real world stuff and they immediately, they say hello and then start in that language. They did a lot of updates, they changed a lot of language codes, they added a lot of languages, they are making more adaptive as well. So I think they're trying to look into making the uh, Portuguese adaptive, which they did that for Chinese Mandarin at one point as well. Um, and the adaptive just means as you answer your questions correctly, it'll get harder. If you answer them incorrectly, it'll get easier. And then eventually it'll just kick you out <laughs> if it thinks it knows what you like, what proficiency you are. Um, but the adaptive ones go from a zero to a five. All right, that sounds good. Thank you. See, now how hard could that be? That was horrible.